Alright, hello guys. Um, we're going to do a video following on from the previous one. Um, so we currently have a text box being opened on a canvas. Um, so like this. It's kind of hard to drag around because I don't know why it shrunk the canvas. We'll sort that out soon though. But we have a canvas here. Um, and a text box within it and we can input the answer um, input the answer into it but we can't do anything with it oh that wasn't even the right answer anyway um, right so to, to sort this out we're going to copy and paste this copy actually we're going to cut it and we're going to take it up into the We might take it up and no 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 we're gonna leave it where it is. So we're only gonna have it on one window. We're not gonna have any menu. Um, so we're gonna leave it there, and we're going to bind to this. So on the press of um, root dot bind, um, and we're gonna bind return with a capital uh, R return to user oh that needs a capital user answer uh, that's all so now hopefully when enter is pressed whatever's in the text box will be sent to user answer or user answer will be run and it will check what's in the thing so that's actually a terrible number because it's like so it's kind of difficult um, user answer zero positional arguments but one was given what? oh right, no, sorry we need to do um, one more thing event because it's running an event which is the enter button being pressed so we now have one divided but let's not do that one that one's horrific actually no, that was 11 I'm an idiot <laughs> so this one's 19 um, and type object has no attribute get um, okay so I know what I've done wrong here so I need to go canvas and um, user input there we run that let's see we get this 6 minus 3 so this is the negative 3 oh shit sorry I didn't camel case this but so E and C so you gotta make sure those are capitals um, So now we get 10 and 12, so that is equal to 22, and you see it comes up as correct. And then we can go um, 1, uh, sorry, 10, that's right. Oh, sorry, we haven't cleared the text box yet. So as you can see, it's then 6 divided by 2. Um, so if we open up that window again, we can go um, 3. 6 divided by 2 is 3. Oh, wait, is it 3 point? Ah, oh, there you go. Okay, so it's rounding them to floats when you divide. Um, so that should be point, 0 0.5. Yeah, there you go. So it's rounding them to floats. You've got to put the 0 before or after. So you've got to put the decimal point. Um, anyway, so now we're going to make it focus to that. So, um, if we put, um, what is it? It's the code to focus. I think it's user input dot focus. It should be that, I think. And check. I want to run the module. All right. 
there you go so now it's already automatically in there I didn't have to click so now that's going to focus it straight to the um, the, uh, the canvas I mean the uh, text box right so moving on from that um, we want to then have it clear after every um, after the answer has been typed in so to do that we want to type in here um, or we can do it in, at the top of this actually that would be more efficient um, user input um, dot delete zero and then a string end so now if it runs that when it runs that it's going to clear that automatically clear the um, it's going to, going to come up with an unexpected indent so to do this to go back and indent we can alt and opening square bracket Oh, so it's control and, and square bracket, opening square bracket, wrong hotkey. There we go. So we've got 11. Say we type in the wrong answer, it's going to come back incorrect. Um, wrong answer again, incorrect, but it's always going to clear that uh, canvas. Um, so negative 3. Why did that not work? Negative 3. Negative 3.0. That's weird. It's not returning. Oh, I know what it is. It's deleting the answer before it can read it. So it's clearing the canvas to zero. So we don't, we don't want to put it at the top. Uh, copy. I want to put it at the bottom. In line with all the other stuff. So that it's gone through the if else statement before it gets there, I think. I think that should work. So, um, get this create this five. There you go. And if we get it wrong, there you go. So putting it at the bottom um, will fix that problem by um, deleting after it's run through this if else statement. Obviously, it will continue through here. And if you've got it correct, it'll run this code um, after it's done that last one. Um, so that will that'll do for this episode. Um, next uh, episode will um, or next part will start putting the trying to put the uh, equation onto the canvas as well, so that we're not running it through the shell. The shell here, and having to print it here to answer it on that. Um, so that, that'll be next episode, so stay, thanks for watching, stay tuned for that guys.